Empty backfield for Deggie. Little pitch and catch. He finds Bryce Ford Wheaton, and that's good for a first down. Watch him before the snap. He will move around a ton to try to mess with the offensive line. Broken tackle for Letty Brown. And he picks up 14 on first down. That's a way to change field position. One snap from deep in your own end. Letty Brown shoves a man down at the line of scrimmage and gets to midfield. Might be a free play for Illingworth. Takes a shot down the sideline. Tylen Wallace all the way out across the 40. There is a flag down. Love Tylen Wallace here. Watch. He's going to get that squat corner, get past him, left arm swim, gets ready for the football. Sit in that zone, stiff arm, just an awareness as a receiver. That is unbelievable. Illingworth, he'll be sacked. That result, it's like deja vu, looks yeah. familiar. I think you and I have brought back some memories. We were last year in Manhattan to see the upset. Oklahoma State shows blitz. Low snap. Here they come. They've got a free runner. Dagey, one on one down the sideline. Broken up. Here comes that all out pressure again. Bundage absolutely lights Dagey up. Great job getting the ball out and giving Sam James a chance downfield. Or Darius Williams just right there. Well, they said it was a close race between he and Ethan Bullock as to who was going to be the number two. Hard to believe when you watched them both play last week. As breaking free is L.D. Brown. L.D. Brown, an acceleration to the end zone for the touchdown. Watch the left side of your screen, number 61. Number 89, get that crease, Springfield, Jelani Woods. And then L.D. Brown is a home run hitting back for Oklahoma State. Running back to the football. Letty Brown. Breaking tackles, first down and more. Out to the 40-yard line, maybe the 41. That's a pickup of 18. Over the middle, making the catch, T.J. Simmons gets a block, breaks a tackle, all the way down to the Oklahoma State 35-yard line. The eyes of Dagey stare to your left, his right, hold that middle linebacker, number seven, and then bring that crosser into that window. Four-man rush, Dagey has it knocked away, that might be a loose ball, after it. Oklahoma State to the house. Tyron Irving takes it the distance for a scoop and score touchdown. Oklahoma State scores on offense. Oklahoma State scores on defense. And the Pokes have a two touchdown lead. We'll win. Deggie with a swing pass to Sinkfield. Little dead leg in the flat. First down and more. Well, West Virginia's moving the football. Four yard shot of a first down. There he looks a lot like Demarcus Ware, the ex Dallas Cowboy. Great right there. Physical, over the top, swipe away, sack, fumble, touchdown. Play two down, four down territory. That diamond formation, full house backfield, and a run for Illingworth, and a throw incomplete. Knocked down by McTroy Fortune. And now he's four for four. 17 nothing, Oklahoma State. Now on ESPN News, third down and five for West Virginia. In stride. A big play. Winston Wright breaks free. Just what the doctor ordered for the Mountaineers. Touchdown. Set the safety. Get over the top of that corner. And let's go long game. Run away. From Malcolm Rodriguez. The patience. Squared that safety up.
This would be a career high for Hale if he knocks it through. This is first season kicking. And that is comfortably through from 44 yards out. So Alex Hale stays perfect. He's now five for five on the season. Three seconds to go before halftime. And Oklahoma State has pushed the lead back up to 13. There it is for Tuba Hubbard. Plenty of room. Cruises into the secondary with a third down pickup. Like Oklahoma State's going to bring it. They're going to bring some coverage. Go through your progressions. Nagy steps up, out of the pocket, runs right into a sack, and gets thrown down by Calvin Bundage. Watch Dagey climb the pocket. That's fine. Stay right there. Stay right there. Don't run into a sack so often. Be day in Stillwater, but in the second half, these offenses have been anything but hot. A little stutter step for L.D. Brown, and he picks up a first down. 12-yard game. He has looked more decisive and explosive. Seven carries for 77 yards. Shillingworth has all day. Throws an interception to Tony Fields. Tony Fields with blockers in front. Dodging tacklers. A huge takeaway for West Virginia. Flips the script. One hitch, two hitch, three hitch. You've done such a good job of protecting the football. Once you get into three hitches in the pocket, Get it out of your hands. Tony Fields just hanging there, hanging there, and the ball gets thrown right to him. Great job of making that catch. 26 yards away for Evan Staley. Got it. So West Virginia off of the turnover, able to get three, and now it's a 10-point game late here in the third quarter. That's at least humble. Chuba Hubbard. Lost the football. And it gets covered up by Josh Sills, the left guard. Well, the play's going to net a two-yard loss. Could have been back-to-back -back giveaways. Great cut initially, and then from the back, that ball gets punched out. And that's another fortunate break for Oklahoma State offensively that Sills is there, the ex-Mountaineer himself, to fall on that. If it's the most important thing for your team is you got to go jump on someone, you got to go jump on them. Nagy off play action. He'll be sacked. So it will be second down and long. Sinkfield with a cutback. Inside the 40-yard line, cruising for a West Virginia first down. The same play he had just gotten beat on on third down before. Good job driving on the football this time. 30 yards for Stanley. And he knocks it right down the middle. So we've got a one-score game with 9.01 to go. Virginia has made this a one-possession game. Chuba Hubbard lost the football. Third Oklahoma down State. and nine. Three-man rush. Illingworth under pressure. To the sideline. Did Tylen Wallace hold that in and get a foot down? He did. What a catch. Look at the athleticism. First of all, go up and make the catch and then get that left foot down by Tylen Wallace. You want to know one of the reasons why He's a Bolitnikoff Award finalist. And throw the ball. Draw play. And it's a first down and more. L.D. Brown. That's a bad defensive breakdown for West Virginia. The thing for a play caller is you want to get it on the hash that your kicker wants. Is he a right hash or left hash kicker? There's Hubbard. Up the middle again. He's at the five and he walks in for a touchdown. With a minute 17 to go, it's a two-possession game again. Beautiful cut back by Chuba. One to the left, a jumps cut, and then back across to the right. Dagan goes down. Cameron Murray gets the sack. Really struggled against Tulsa. And today, they gave West Virginia a lot of opportunities to stay in this game. But that will be the exclamation point. Calvin Bundage gets the sack. And will the Mountaineers even snap it again and put Dagey in harm's way? Down to five seconds to go, and that will most likely end the game. And it will. So Oklahoma State with a 27-13 win.
over West Virginia. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.